the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi Capricorn, welcome to your April 2019 reading with me. Welcome back to anyone who's coming back and welcome to anyone who's new watching my videos for the first time. To those of you who are new, I do like to talk a little bit about astrology before I start with the tarot reading, so I'm going to do that before we get into it, guys. So, whew, first of all, the moon is in Capricorn as I record this, and we are discussing some emotional aspects today, so I'm kind of thinking that this might be one of the deeper readings, but maybe not. We'll just have to see, guys. So, whew. Let's see here. April. Let's talk about April and what it means for Capricorn. So in the month of April, we did have Aries and Taurus season. Aries is four houses away from you, Capricorn. And this is that emotional house that I'm talking about, okay? The fourth house is all about home, family, roots, foundation, okay? It's a very emotional house. It's kind of the opposite house that you represent because it is the house of Cancer. But for you, Aries is four signs away from you. So I feel like Aries season, the first half of April, was about who you are in relation to your family and where you live, right? Um, a lot of home stuff coming up here, and it doesn't have to be home as in where you live. Like, there's just a lot of things that could be hitting close to home, if you know what I mean. And it's very emotional. So, you know, when you take a cardinal sign like Capricorn, which is Earth, and then you take an Aries sign, which is Cardinal Fire, there is kind of a power struggle. Aries does square you guys, so there could be certain conflicts that come up in regards to certain things of the fourth house that we've discussed, okay? There was a new moon there, though, on April 6th, earlier this month, and that was a beautiful time to set new intentions for things like family, home environment, roots, where you consider yourself to be from, Capricorn. Uh, I do have a, moon, a video for that new moon if you guys want to check that out. I also have videos for the Libra full moon, the, the, the two Libra full moons that happened. That was in your 10th house, and that's another energy that squared you. So, you know, this was kind of a conflicting month energy-wise. I'm not sure what's going to come up in the cards just yet, but I'm just kind of feeling the, the energy of Capricorn. You guys are the south node as well, so you guys, um, you guys are feeling the square happening with well you probably were when the sun was squaring saturn and there's just some squares that came up guys i feel like pluto and saturn in capricorn are also going retrograde soon so these are just things that could be impacting you okay that i'm mentioning just in case you want to further study those things or check out other youtube videos before i can get to the videos i'm going to record for all these special and intense things happening so the end of April is probably going to be a little bit lighter though, I do have good news. The second half of April is Taurus season, which is another Earth sign. We haven't had Earth since your season, Capricorn. Have you guys thought about that, how we haven't even had that Earth energy in our universe really um, since, you know, December, January. So Taurus season is coming in with that grounded Earth practicality. Um, it's kind of like the ground beneath your feet is going to be more fit, like visible and trusting, probably. So we're moving from the fourth house to a much more pleasant house, represented by Taurus for you, which is the house of romance, pleasure, um, creativity. So the end of April energetically seems a bit better as far as Earth and and all those. Ple I love the fifth house. The fifth house aspects are are pretty pretty good. And this is your sister sign, Taurus. So you're going to feel that earth. You're going to feel that more balance and stability. So interesting, Capricorn. Very interesting. I'm wondering if there's anything else that I should talk about before we get into the cards. I mean, there's, there's a lot of astrology going on, but I think that's it. Basically, fourth house and fifth house, which is, um, you know, finding a home that's more pleasurable for you, you know, experiencing things with family, creating your own home. And we've got some romance coming in with Taurus season, uh, end of April going into May, that's romance and pleasure. 
and children. So when you go through fourth and fifth house, any of you guys out there listening who are around children, if you live with children, if you have children, this is an aspect coming up as well. So, hmm. Let's go ahead and get into the messages, Capricorn. I am using a different deck this month. It's an oracle deck called Nature's Whispers. You can check that out in the description. It was given to me by my friend, Brooke. So shout out to Brooke. She's an Aries. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see what this message is for you for April. And we're also going to read from the book, okay? So let's see what your message is, Capricorn. We have Leap of Faith leap of faith you are the only sign who's receiving this so far i do have two more videos to do after you but so far capricorn you're the only sign who's getting leap of faith it was featured um a little bit in sagittarius's reading and these cards are just beautiful hopefully you guys can see okay there's a lot of detail here so i'm going to give you guys just a moment to to look at this but then i'm going to look at it uh for you and see if there's anything that jumps out at me and then we're going to read so very beautiful card here let's see leap of faith well okay i'm seeing a spider web the first thing i saw was a spider web and there's like this lady who's kind of like a tightrope i think that's what it's called like you could be feeling like you're walking a thin line with people places and things this month capricorn like any step in the wrong direction could lead you off the edge but i feel like that that net is kind of like a safety net like if there's anything that feels like a risk this month go ahead and make the leap you know this Easter energy, happy Easter, by the way, hopefully you guys had a happy Easter. To me, Easter is about a portal of rebirth. And it talks all, like this is the time of year where even nature is taking leaps of faith to just grow again and there's certain animals coming out. So anyways, I feel like there's a safety net here for you. That even if you fall, Capricorn, there's something that's going to catch you. You know, I'm getting other energy from the web as, as well. Like this web is... You know, I'm hearing web of lies or, you know, the web of everything being weaved together and connected. I mean, definitely spiders coming up here, which is kind of hinting at transformation. A lot of earth here in this picture as well. So, you know, there could be some, I feel it's a little bit of nervous energy a little bit um, from the act of this woman walking on that but if you look at her she's definitely not nervous she's actually some kind of fairy almost and she's very magical we've got some butterflies up there too which is also talking about transformation so i think that's it capricorn i'm just really being led to this web we may refer back to this image in your reading but definitely walk in um walking a thin line walking a tight rope this month but you're doing so with faith you may even leap into the unknown it's all about trusting your security down here, this this web that you've woven of security to always catch you. And you know what that is, Capricorn? It's plan B, C, D, and E, just in case this doesn't come through, you know? These are your boundaries with Saturn energy coming up here. Interesting. Now, this is also interesting. I was shuffling the cards to clear the energy, and... Um, I felt led to stop the cards on the moon and I just kind of wanted to basically show you guys this before I start shuffling because um, I checked what was behind the moon and we do have the devil so this is talking about the moon being in Capricorn right now as I record this and this was a huge confirmation that your reading was ready but I am gonna shuffle and get you guys an underlying energy because I'm not quite sure if this is your true underlying energy for April it just so happened to be where I stopped shuffling to clear my cards. But I have not invoked your energy quite yet, although you are here. So I'm going to go ahead and interpret this because I think it's a special message, especially because I did pull the world card, which is Saturn, another confirmation that this was supposed to be spoken to you. Um, Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. This is a Pisces, okay? But this is talking about your shadow side. This is talking about you know, feeling chained to certain things, people, places. And this is also talking about your fears. But I really feel like this is more so the moon in Capricorn and I just wanted to show you. Let's see what's right behind you, Capricorn. The Knight of Swords, a specific Gemini. Someone here may have a Capricorn moon as well. I did just get that. So if there's any Capricorn moons here, definitely your presence is here. And this is about moving forward very quickly. Maybe to say something. This is a Gemini. It's a... Um, some kind of quest for truth that there's some kind of quest that you know 
you know it's the truth, you know it's where you're supposed to go, but you, you may be a little afraid, there may be some darkness here, all right? Let's go ahead and get you an underlying energy for April. I just wanted to show you guys that. And this is something that I haven't, I have not done this uh, for any other sign. Every other sign, their video was a little bit different. But we got some single, maybe someone here who's afraid to be single, afraid to be on their own independently. So that was C. New love coming in though. This is A. This is P. This is R, I, C, O, R, N. All right, Capricorn, your underlying energy for April is the Ten of Cups. I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure. I think another sign also had the same underlying energy, but to be honest, I can't remember who it was. So you might want to watch for your significant other, your sun, moon, rising, Venus, just to see if there's any relatable energies. But Capricorn, there's an underlying energy here of home for April, which is not, not surprising because you're going through the fourth house of home with Aries season. This is about emotional fulfillment. There is some kind of completion here with the number 10, something that's emotionally... An emotional ending maybe but this is really talking about a relationship a specific relationship family members children home environment for sure okay underlying energy ten of cups with the queen of pentacles so definitely um the security in your home this is a specific taurus woman which is taurus season all right but this is also my Capricorn woman card, okay? Very stable woman, queen of earth, someone who's mastered stability. Now, you're very focused on this, okay? You can see how there's, the woman there is very focused on that coin, something she values, her home, her family. Very Capricorn energy, that life-work balance, you know what I mean? She may be a little worried and concerned, um, and that's for the males watching as well. So definitely something there, and I just realized that we didn't... Um, read from the book so i'm glad i noticed that and also capricorn this is card number 22 so before we start shuffling the cards i am going to read this leap of faith card for you i'm not sure how i forgot to do that but i'm glad i caught myself so 20 card number 22 what page is this on we're going to read about that and then we'll get into the reading so this is on page 39 It says, see this as a chance to create something wonderful. You are in a transition period where you need to draw on your faith, intuition, intuition, and knowledge and take a leap. You will not fail. You have a safety net, just like I said, even before reading, and I have not read these cards, they're brand new. You have a safety net of support in place. You will overcome your fear and find, wow. I wish I wouldn't have shuffled the cards yet because that that cat that uh, the devil card and the moon card that was talking about a fear. You will overcome your fear, it says, and find a beautiful outcome in the horizon. This leap of faith is the best course of action at this time. Did you hear that, Capricorn? There's a leap of faith in April that is the best course of action for you. If you do make a mistake, you have the ability to try again and learn from what did not work the first time. And that sounds like Saturn to me. All signs indicate that if you if you just trust, you will succeed. Jump headfirst into the void of the unknown. Even if you eventually fall, for a while you will soar. Even if you eventually fall, for a while you will soar. So this is definitely a chance. April is definitely a chance to create something wonderful, you guys. And and that's feeling like this Ten of Cups to me, you know. And we are going through fifth house energy. If I haven't mentioned, I am a Capricorn rising. So I'm feeling all these energies very, very intensely in my first house. But um, definitely a chance in April to create something wonderful. You're in a transition period where you need to draw on your faith and intuition and knowledge to take a leap. You will not fail, Capricorn. There's something about telling Capricorn that. You will not fail. You have a safety net of support in place. And you know how support is for you too, Capricorn. You will overcome your fear and find a beautiful outcome in the horizon. So this is about overcoming fears. 
some kind of leap of faith. For some, it's a relationship. For others, it's a home environment. For others, it's, you know, going off on your own. It has something to do with your own stability, this leap of faith. But it is the best course of action at this time, Capricorn. I think you know that. Don't worry about your mistakes, okay? You can always try again, which is definitely something every Capricorn knows. You guys learn from your mistakes, right? What goes around comes around. Okay, all signs are indicating that if you trust, you will succeed. If you trust, you will succeed. So jump head first into something, even if it feels like a void, even if it's unknown Capricorn, because you will eventually soar. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I'm so happy that I remembered to read that for you guys, um, because that's definitely something we all we all could could benefit from hearing. We do have the Hermit here in the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could just be isolating yourself, Capricorn, in the name of... This is someone who's isolating themselves in work, and that's such a Capricorn thing. Being wise. Someone here wants to be very wise financially so that they can eventually have this Ten of Cups home or something with their family or a relationship. This is financial wisdom and clarity. Going inward to see what you value most about home this month. Yeah, definitely. Let's go ahead and get this spread out here for you, Capricorn. This is for Capricorn for April 2019, and we have the Two of Cups flying out. Bottom of the deck is the King of Swords. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius man. This could be a water sign or a Leo. Someone here has Leo energy, water sign energy, and King of Swords energy. So air energy, Leo energy, water energy. Don't read too much into the signs though, guys. This could also just be a conversation that's taking place between two lovers that's what i'm gonna say someone here has a very strong emotional bond let's continue shuffling though and then we'll talk what else do we have for capricorn for april whoa okay we got something going on here we have the four of wands the hierophant the knight of swords and the temperance we have a sagittarius and a taurus showing up here and a gemini okay this this is also the home environment but this to me is a marriage for sure the hierophant is a marriage the four of wands is a marriage someone here may be rushing into marriage with a sagittarius but this is like the difference between patience and rushing you know there's definitely someone here who wants to rush into marriage okay or a commitment rushing into move with someone capricorn maybe a taurus sagittarius it doesn't have to be a taurus sagittarius but I do see a Gemini, a Taurus, and a Sagittarius here. If those are not the signs you're dealing with, this is literally about some kind of commitment, a home commitment. Committing to living somewhere, you know, some kind of, tra someone here wants a traditional home and family, you know, very traditional where you sit at the table when you eat, you know what I mean? Um, you know, maybe play games on a Friday night or something, whatever traditional home means to you guys. You know, there is some kind of message of truth that you've been very patient to hear that may be relevant. Um, I'm not really sure what that message was about, but we do have the judgment card here as well. I'm going to take this card because I feel like that's that's the card, um, the only card that fell face front. And it does have something to do with these messages that came out too. Cause, so we got these two little mini messages here that seem just about the same amount of cards. We already talked about this message here. All right, and then we have this message, which is a message of regret. All right, we have the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. Someone here is trying to heal regret. Whatever didn't work out, and you can see the, the two cups in your reading are the same two cups that are behind this man here that is quite depressed. You guys are separated from someone here, but there, on the other end, there's the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Somebody's mirroring each other here. Someone in the situation just wants financial balance, could be dealing with a Libra or an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We got fire here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All the signs are really coming up, but someone here is wanting victory financially. Someone here may be getting some, some attention from someone. Someone here may receive money from someone or something like that, but this looks like, it's, this is a story of regret though. Like, I regret um, what didn't work out. I regret not giving you enough. I regret asking for too much. And then there was someone here who was also receiving charity attention. I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Giving attention out like it's charity, you know? I'm not sure, Capricorn. So those two messages came out with the justice card at the bottom of the deck and the nine of um, cups. There is some sort of justice and karma coming in, maybe with a Libra. 
or a water sign but either way this is this is a karmic wish fulfillment someone here has manifested something and they're gonna get what they deserve but it's linked to a decision it's linked to a crossroads maybe it has to do with a Scorpio or a Pisces but we have a decision here you're gonna have to choose your own wish fulfillment and your own karma your own balance in order for this transformation of love to come in someone here is coming in to offer love there is a home environment here too so this is a message uh, about for someone out there listening I don't know if you guys are going through court stuff where there's there's a marriage here okay there might be some truth about a marriage that comes in you could be dealing with a twin flame I didn't see that before but with the temperance and the four of wands those are both twin flame indications okay which would explain why over here this is a message for two people and they're mirroring each other with two sixes okay someone here is getting a lot of attention the other person's focused on equal give and take they're both trying to heal but this seems like there's some regret in the situation okay especially if you're dealing with home environments and marriage i'm gonna keep the justice card i'm sorry i'm gonna keep the judgment card okay but let's keep on going what are the messages for capricorn for april and now we have the eight of cups coming out some of you guys are dealing with a leo eight of cups and then we have these two messages i'm not gonna take these but this is for someone out there something is about to change someone's destiny is about to change and it's linked to a relationship or a home environment okay there's something here that is destined you could be dealing with any of the fixed signs taurus scorpio aquarius leo okay but you don't have to be this is the will of fortune this is jupiter and sagittarius in your 12th house completing something going retrograde there's some kind of change here in a home environment or in a family situation some kind of family dynamic or a relationship and it's because there's a completion of a cycle here it may or may not involve travel or leaving something behind you know this could very well be something brand new and that might mean um, leaving something that was unstable emotionally behind this is Gemini Libra Aquarius energy this is travel and it's usually sad travel like someone here could be very sad while they're traveling especially if they have children um, this is sometimes someone who's driving and crying or traveling across water in a plane or in a boat but you're usually you know in deep thought during it at this point in the reading this is linked somehow to this ten of cups and this wheel of fortune could be dealing with a leo okay i definitely see a leo man showing up here for those of you who are dealing with leo men or someone with leo energy because we have the king of wands third party maybe also you may you may need strength to do this if you're not dealing with a leo this is definitely talking about needing the strength to leave a situation behind some of you are leaving a leo though okay um some of you work with a leo and there's conflicts but there's also a new spark of passion queen of pentacles at the bottom there again so this seems very beautiful it didn't it didn't fly out upright it kind of landed on the table like this so it's just an extra message for someone out there if you needed a confirmation about your destiny or about things turning in your favor soon this is good fortune it looks like someone gets a new home environment or there's some kind of family situation that turns around something's changing and just know whatever this is whatever this love is or family situation it's, it's very destined okay this looks like someone who gets a new home or something like that but it is linked to leaving leaving something else behind in order to get to something new you have to leave the old right could be a little confused about all your options here capricorn what else do we have for capricorn for april 2019 whoa okay so the wheel of fortune and the ten of cups stay out they stay out because um they're coming back out bottom of the deck you guys just seen me shuffle we have the same cards see that this is how tarot works i don't know if you guys just caught that but the messages that need to come out will absolutely come out they absolutely come out no matter what okay leo leaving leo we have the knight of cups now so it could be yeah someone here see that ten of pentacles it's similar to the ten of cups except this is long term this is like a career another home environment though okay but this is a um futuristic energy like the next 10 years financial success like i don't know if there is someone here is offering stability something this is a very serious love offer coming in could be a pisces i almost just said pisces all right this is a love message though someone here is on a quest for love in the long term like 
this is someone who wants commitment but it's going to involve travel this might be someone who's at a distance for you from you someone here's traveling for love and stability okay pisces leo energy but i do feel an energy of having to leave someone behind what else do we have for capricorn april 2019 what else do we have for capricorn okay you guys are getting the ace of swords which is victory and that's what you're waiting on is clarity after some kind of ending most of you and this is also travel okay you could be dealing with a water sign or you could be traveling with your mother or your father look at this three of wands queen of cups the emperor and the empress which is twin flame this is a couple here okay mother father energy mars venus energy in the six of cups king of pentacles there's new love coming in here for some of you might be coming back from the past we've got soulmate here and twin flame again so some of you guys are dealing with soulmate twin flame cycles of reflection but some of you guys are are maybe you've turned your back on a water sign or maybe this water sign has turned their back on you in order to focus on their mother and father this is a scorpio woman focusing on there's also an aries here and a libra and a taurus woman there's something here about venus and aries that's what this is something specific here about venus and aries which is a transit coming up venus and aries is going to be an important transit that's when venus is going to enter your fourth house of home attracting you this is that's what this is okay we got jupiter and um and venus energy coming up you're waiting on something capricorn all right let's get your last card here what is the last card the three of swords bottom of the deck is the queen of wands all right we'll look more into that shortly but let's start in interpreting some of this okay this is like the second half of april which is where we are i know these videos are kind of late um but i still wanted to record it for you guys so the way i'm reading this is this is the second half of april this is the first half of april the the past how you entered april but any of these energies can happen at any time guys okay so capricorn we have the two of cups specific soulmate relationship showing up at the beginning of april you could have started started april out with a connection with someone okay someone really significant very strong emotional bond here okay these people are pouring their heart, hearts out to each other um they're basically intertwining their souls could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio energy but it could also be leo or just any union any any union here but these are lovers all right they're soulmates this is a significant relationship being represented here sometimes the two of cups is a choice you could have a choice between two people at the beginning of april or maybe there's a decision that could potentially affect your relationship and this could also be a reconciliation and i am leaning more towards that because the next card is the judgment card so i don't know if there was someone who called you in april there could be someone a specific phone call from your past and this could be someone who calls you to express how they feel but this is a second opportunity with someone at the beginning of april all right this is an awakening happening to these two people as well maybe someone literally re-emerges from the death okay because let me tell you we do have pluto in capricorn this is the card for pluto we have pluto and jupiter here and we also had venus so pluto jupiter energy coming up if you're into astrology pluto is the ruler of hell okay the ruler of the underworld and pluto is in charge of purging out energies but also awakenings and rebirth so this is literally a rise from the dead kind of energy there's a relationship that is basically resurrected good that's a good energy to say this is the resurrection of some kind of re dying relationship so i wouldn't be surprised if certain people are coming back from the past for second chances or maybe this is you capricorn specific phone call energy though anyone that you you talked on the phone with especially at the beginning of april but this could be at any time in april I'm seeing that this could have left some of you guys very confused. This could have added even more options to the already confused options that you have. This is like making a choice in the dark with your eyes closed. All right, someone here is overwhelmed emotionally. Strong water sign energy so far for you guys. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it could just be the state of your emotion. I did tell you at the beginning of this reading that this could definitely be um, an emotional reading. 
And this could be an emotional month, an emotional time for you guys, especially because the moon is currently in Capricorn on April 23rd and 24th, okay? So, got a lot of options here, okay? It's just about choosing one, Capricorn. If you got more than one person that you're interested in, you know, if there's people coming back from the past and there's also this current person or if this is just some kind of other option, work options. I mean, look at the cards here. There's there's a little bit of everything in these cards. There's fortune, there's celebration, there's wisdom, there's knowledge, but there are a couple things in this card that are potentially toxic. So it's about choosing wisely, intuitively, but it is a fantasy-like energy. So, wow, this could also be fantasizing about someone from the past. I do see that. Fantasizing about a second chance with someone, getting back with someone at the beginning of April. Could be this Queen of Wands, this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the first half of April looks like there was a significant second opportunity or a phone call or some kind of awakening that you're going through in regards to love. But there are choices about love from the past coming back too that may be quite confusing. I do think there's a home environment significant here too. One of the cups has a home environment in it and money. and So there's just a lot going on. And, and right now in April, you guys are feeling the feelings about everything. Could be a little clouded emotionally, you know, but there is this awakening happening. Pluto and Capricorn, very Scorpionic energy. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But something here is, it's like the judgment day of your relationships. And it's interesting that I say that because that's what a lot of people are talking about. The Libra full moon that happened, you know, that was the judgment day of all of our relationships. So there are, there is some um, soulmate judgment going on here. You know what I mean? Some kind of awakening like that. It's awakening some kind of choice in you emotionally in regards to love, if that makes sense. Which is, for some reason, adding confusion to you coming into the second part of April. So now we're in the present day. This is like the rest of April, okay? We're already, we've already entered into this energy. So something is changing, Capricorn, as you're watching this. Like, there's some kind of destiny coming in here. And with this being underneath the Two of Cups, I mean... This is like two people getting back together, everything changes, and now it's rainbows and sunshine. You know, this is the choice. This is a relationship that's linked to your destiny. Like, I'm hearing it's it's your destiny to get back with this person at the end of the month. It's your destiny to move in with this person at the end of the month. It's your destiny to experience this happy home environment with the, with these people. Two people, two children, or two people in, the, in their inner children. Like, these are people who are soulmates. I think some of you guys are experiencing relationships with people who you knew as a child in a past life. So they're very near and dear to you. But something's going on here with relationship destiny. And I think that's because the North Node is in your seventh house of relationships. So the, re the destiny of your relationships is coming up here, which is going to change everything in regards to your emotional space, your, your, your fortune right there's something there's some kind of change here and I always say with the wheel of fortune that it's like going straight for a long time getting used to that feeling and then randomly woo, like there's a turn okay like this is a turn of events because someone gets back together or there's some kind of choice that turns the wheel of destiny here okay and because of that you're victorious moving into even closer to the end of April moving into May there's some kind of clarity that you get from this. Like, you know the truth now. You know, this phone call or whatever it was, this awakening, basically. This is a second opportunity to say something, a second opportunity for clarity at the end of April coming up. And this is also a call. It might be a phone call that gives you a lot of clarity, Capricorn. It leaves you with a new way of thinking, feeling victorious. This is your truth. You're stepping into a new journey. This is like you've definitely conquered the Ten of Swords. If you're receiving the eight, the I'm sorry, the Ace of Swords at the end of April, then I can only assume that you guys have been in the Ten of Swords energy to get back to the number one. This is a sword being given to you by the universe. And this sword isn't a weapon, it's a tool. It's a tool for you to use when you speak and when you communicate. You know? which every Capricorn needs right now with Neptune in their third house of Pisces making everything Capricorn says feel like a fantasy. Maybe you're gaining clarity over this fantasy. So this is clarity. This is your truth. You may say something. This is saying something, usually. Someone's saying something, but I feel like it's just victory and clarity coming into the end of April. But 
it doesn't come without some sort of feeling of loss. You do end April feeling a little bit heartbroken, Capricorn. End of April, there's some kind of separation that happens again. I'm not sure if it's with this Two of Cupper. I don't know if you guys are in relationships where it's kind of on again, off again. Not really sure what's going on here, but there's still... I don't know if someone moves out here in order to gain clarity. But at the same time, one of the swords that was given to them is actually stabbed into the middle of their heart. Okay, this could be finding out about a third party for some of you. Or being a third party, you know? There's three people, places, or things that are important here. Okay, but this is heartbreak. A feeling of loss, a feeling of pain or betrayal, deception, something. Heartbreaking energy. Something is heartbreaking at the end of April. But also, I do want to say, for me, the Three of Swords is often a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that needs to take place. Okay, it's a head over heart decision. We got some air energy here. I love that the Ace of Swords is here because you can gain clarity with this heartbreak, Capricorn. You can. You can be victorious. All right? And this is about speaking your truth. Some of you are at the end of April are going to be saying, I am heartbroken. I am, and I'm feeling emotion at this part of the reading. You guys are going to maybe even cry and saying, hey, I am absolutely destroyed over this. Like my heart is ripped to pieces. You ripped my heart out. I don't know if that's what this conversation is about. You guys could be communicating with someone about a second chance. Like someone here wants a second chance. Because they don't have clarity over this relationship. They didn't have clarity over the over this destined thing. You know, that's the thing. When destiny is involved, when karma is involved, when fortune is, is involved, you know, it's almost as if the, this is out of your hands because it's faded. It's already been written. It's already been spoken for, I'm hearing. Because it's the truth and the truth only. So I do like seeing the Ace of Swords with the Three of Swords at the end of the month. Because there is, there's some confusion here. There's a lot of options here that someone needs to get clear on. And there may be a heartbreaking decision. There may be something heartbreaking that you need to say at the end of April, Capricorn. You know, it might be the word no. You know what I mean? Maybe getting back with someone else means separating from another person. But I do see that someone is speaking here from the heart. This is about speaking from the heart at the end of April, no matter how confused you are, because someone here is definitely confused and heartbroken. They're heartbroken and overwhelmed emotionally because of this heartbreak and separation. Like, I'm, what I just heard was, you didn't choose me. Or maybe I didn't choose you. Because this is heartbreak linked to the overwhelming sensation of options. This might be choosing your own heartbreak, Capricorn. It's a very Pluto thing to do. Pluto would rather commit suicide than be killed by something else it's kind of like that scorpio energy it's like i'm gonna get you before you get me kind of so this confusion is breaking your heart maybe it's someone else's confusion that's breaking your heart because you know there's clarity down here so you were confused about something in in the beginning of april that probably has something to do with a relationship connection and do i give this person a second chance you know, especially when you're going through an awakening. I mean, this is a, a blatant combination that says awakenings are confusing. Awakenings are overwhelming emotionally. For some, some of you, this is a soulmate awakening. So this person, this connection you have with this person actually awakens you, makes you use your judgment. It may put you in confusion emotionally. It may overwhelm you as an earth sign, but it allows you to see your options. Then at the end of April, because of this change of destiny, there's clarity that comes in at the end of April. It's a heartbreaking clarity. This is a heartbreaking truth. You know, this is the the cold truth of someone's heart, okay? But this is someone being very truthful. And this is like speaking your truth even if it breaks someone's heart, okay? Which may be being done to you, okay? I don't know, but I'm being led to say that. Like, I'd rather hurt you with the truth than comfort you with a lie we have the queen of wands at the big bottom of the deck with the tower so this is a sagittarius aries leo woman specifically leo this is leo for me 
and we, we oh god some of you are dealing with a leo jesus guys um queen of wands could be an energy that you have capricorn but this is an attractive woman someone who's very passionate and spiritual someone who's mastered um you know her vision she's a leader very fiery very sassy woman but something here fell apart so this is a, a this could be someone coming in that shocks you okay but the tower is something that is sudden falls apart suddenly okay it falls apart suddenly a relationship a home environment a job it's just something unexpected but this was absolutely built on a false foundation someone's going through a tower moment here and then we have the the sun card which to me is you know this is definitely the tower in between two leo indications or the sun is a child some of you guys are going through this shake up with a child someone here has a son okay or a, or a child a daughter but this is about your happiness capricorn this had to fall apart so that you could see so that you could gain clarity so that you could start manifesting okay because you have battles to fight all right this is someone who's battling to manifest something someone who's who's defensive against magic almost they're trying to manifest something while they're in this state of defensiveness and, and that's kind of hard to do because you, it's hard to believe in yourself when you have your guard up you ever notice that it might just be better in this case if you focus on your independence because there's been a lot of time and effort put into this situation so much so that you've kind of forced yourself into this prison of thoughts this these negative thoughts about what you're waiting for someone here is waiting because they're trapped but they also want to be independent and then we have the justice card those lead that libra energy i think justice for you in this case capricorn is passion okay letting down your guard a little bit when it comes to your beliefs when it comes to what you're trying to manifest knowing that you have enough tools to continue on fighting this last battle this is your last battle of manifestation meaning that you are going to manifest something even if it's your own truth and clarity all right but we do have you know these energies here i just feel like I feel like you're going to be happy even though things are all falling apart. This is someone who's still being happy, positive, joy. This is the most positive card in the tarot deck mixed with one of the most challenging cards. So this is about Uranus and the sun conjuncting on um, April 22nd, 23rd, 24th. This is Uranus and uh, the sun conjuncting in Taurus, I feel, in your fifth house. That's going to really shock you. This is like shocking you with happiness. Like, surprise, you're actually happy. And it might be because there's a Leo coming in. You might be dealing with two different Leo energies. Okay? Two different people that have two different Leo energies. But you're manifesting happiness, Capricorn. Even though you feel that your your foundation's a little shaky. Again, you know, walking that tight rope, taking a leap of faith here. This leap of faith, in this case, may be talking about getting back with this person. Answering the phone call of this per this person from your past. Having a conversation that is a bit confusing but this is almost like gaining clarity in one sense but being confused in another but i also do think that there is clarity victory and truth waiting for you at the end of the month and we already talked about that so very very interesting capricorn let's we'll see if there's any final messages we do have the two of swords so there is some kind of decision here okay and it may involve a scorpio because we have the death card here beneath the two of swords so this is either a decision to end something or begin something okay this is a trans a decision to transform something a decision a decision to reborn to be reborn all right uh i do feel like this is a decision to end something for some of you guys because there's a this is a crossroads like there's two different truths here right and there's a stalemate here it seems like something's paused right here but there is some truth coming in maybe even some spine we have the page of swords and the page of cups for you guys so this is like a pisces gemini energy to me or maybe someone's spying on a pisces here someone that someone here is spying that has feelings on for you capricorn they have something to say to you if you're dealing with any water signs or air signs looks like clarity emotionally these are two different people coming in and they're both facing the same way but this is someone who's obviously spying watching someone's social media they have the ten of swords there too so there was some kind of ending with with someone 
painful ending and now they're spying or something like that but there's a decision all right some of you it's a decision involving a scorpio so that's very interesting there so this is your reading capricorn i'm gonna i'm gonna take just a moment here to see if there's any other messages that spirit wants to invoke does, it, does capricorn need to hear anything else in april I'm, I'm really feeling home environment because the last thing that my spirit guides are showing me is this little red house in the background there of that family and then that same little red house back there but I want you to take a look here okay this is the home of two two people that they live in this is like I don't know if this is someone that you used to live with Capricorn in a little tiny house or something like that this house is a little bit bigger than the one in the two of cups so someone here may be moving into a bigger home where they can raise a family in it i mean look at the little red houses back there this is about when we met is what i just heard when we met when we were in love when we were young that song by adele when we were young when we were young let me photograph you in this light i'm not sure if that's a different song when we were young when we were young i think that was a different song but when we were young is a song that some of you guys should listen to in regards to this situation because this is two people who met when they were younger Okay, little childhood sweetheart coming back from the past or something like that. I'm not sure, but this is linked to your destiny. This emotional fulfillment that you feel, whether it's on your own or with this pre people. I mean, I don't know here. It's like two people getting back together, moving back in together or something. I'm telling you, and these two people were young because look, you can see those little two kids sticking out there, yellow and blue. Someone's wearing yellow, someone's wearing blue. Someone's wearing yellow, someone's wearing blue. So if you don't have any kids, I'm telling you, you guys, you're with someone who you used to be used to play with them as a child in a past life. That may be the clarity that you're realizing, like, you are my soulmate. I want a second chance to talk to you to, for clarity. Let's talk about this heartbreak. Let's talk about this heartbreak. Now, I don't know, Capricorn. So... I have one little last thing planned, which is this little gold egg that I'm using this month. And I've got some dice in there. One of the dice have planets on it. One of them have houses and the other ones have zodiac signs. So I'm going to give this a shake for you. And then I'm going to open the egg on your cards and see if we get any further information. So this is for Capricorn and April. April, Capricorn, April, Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, shoot. Okay, one second. Let me see if I can find this dice. Okay, it's cool. So, <laughs> I had to go under my desk and get this, but it was the 10th house, baby. So, that Libra full moon energy coming up. All right, you want to look to your own 10th house as well. We have... A couple cards clarify, clarified here, just judged by where the dice landed, but this 10th house kind of landed on the floor, so I don't know if there's some career that's just being disregarded. I think there's some kind of deeper meaning to, as to why the 10th house would fall off the desk. Okay, but so I'm just going to put this here because I can't really, you know, clarify, but we do have some cards being clarified, which is the first one here we have the zodiac sign Pisces, Pisces energy. You're getting the zodiac sign Pisces, and it's it's here with the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it landed right here, clarifying the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. So this may involve a Pisces for some of you. It may involve Pisces energy. If any of you guys have a Pisces fourth house, or if you live with a Pisces energy. I do see Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Gemini for those of you out there who that reson resonates with. But, you know... I feel like this is just a spiritual thing. The fact, you know, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. I don't know if someone here has Jupiter in Pisces. But you want to look to Pisces energy in your chart when it comes to this change in destiny. All right. 
I don't, I'm not sure. There's a, there's a lot of mysticism here as to why Pisces would be clarifying this change. Now, some of you may have Pisces energy, but you want to, everyone has Pisces energy somewhere. So maybe some of you need to communicate about this. I mean, the, the Ace of Swords is right here. And I'm saying that because Pisces is three houses away from you on the Zodiac Wheel, meaning communication. Communicating about the changes that you want to happen in your home. It's the destiny of your home, you know, with Aries season. Even though this is happening when it's Taurus season, which has to do with romance. It's interesting. You, you were dealing with romance at the beginning of the month when you were dealing with home energy. You're dealing with home at the end of the month when you're when you're dealing with um, romance energy. So I'm telling you, romance in, in the home, children in the home. Now, these two cards are being, I love how that dice just sat there. Because it's in the middle, very perfectly, very strategically placed by spirit in the middle of the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords, you you have the sun. So most of you watching have a Capricorn sun. If you're not cross watching for one of your signs or something, but we have the sun, which is another Leo indication. We got big Leo energy here, okay? But this is talking about clarity, especially because you're the south node, which is showing up there. All right, so the sun. I'm the Three of Swords and the Ace of Swords, clarity for sure. It's about your happiness. I mean, you have the sun here as well. So either way, the sun is a planet to look look for as well. The sun's shift into can uh, the sun's shift into Taurus. And then we have the tenth house. So tenth house energy, Pisces energy. I don't know if someone has a Pisces tenth house. I don't know if anyone works with a Pisces or if this is just about your future. But we have the 10th house, the sun, and Pisces. You want to look to the sun sign or the sun. Some of you guys need to actually sun gaze and work with the sun's energy this month to help you with this clarity. Because you are confused in April. I'm seeing this. You're overwhelmed with options and it's it's quite heartbreaking. You may even feel like you a loss. You may even feel like a loss of these options or something. I don't know. Either way, you're getting a lot of clarity from whatever this loss and separation is. This has something to do with your happiness. You know, the universe and Saturn knows that you're not really happy, Capricorn. And so when it goes retrograde, it's it's going to do some things. It's going to allow you to reflect. Okay. So look to Pisces energy, look to the sun's energy and look to the 10th house. All right. I'm seeing someone with the sun in the 10th house here, which is kind of a Capricorn energy anyways. You know what I mean? So this has a lot to do with who you are, Capricorn. Hopefully this reading helped you guys. Thank you so much for still listening, even though we're at the end of April. If this did resonate and you want me to take a personal look at your energies, um, look in my description box and that additional information will be there. Other than that, I do hope April was was a good month for you guys. It, it looks like there's some definitely some changes happening at the end of the month. You're going to be clear. You're going to have some things to say about your truth. Looks like a reconciliation for some of you guys who are wanting validation about that. Someone's coming back from the past. And it might be the past past, like not the last three, four years. This might be someone who's coming back, 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 back in the day. Like, they, you know, you knew them when you were quite young, you know, 16 or so. I'm not sure, Capricorn. Maybe it's just a phone call that confuses you or something. But either way, if something changes in the home environment, you're clear. But then, you know, the end of April, there's some clarity that you're needing over this broken heart with the sun there and the ace of swords so it, it looks looks okay and remember there there is a leap of faith here with the number 22 if you guys see any number 22 combination combinations on the clock or anything like that any no, numerology that might be a sign that you're you're close to whatever you need to take a leap remember you're secure okay this is your security net down there which i already channeled before i even read the card so take that leap of faith capricorn even if you're heartbroken I'll talk to you guys in May, all right? Bye.